Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time since I posted anything on YouTube. Um, yeah, long story short, I've just had a really busy last couple of years uh, building my business and I have a bit more time now and we've moved into a new place and I have some projects around the house that I filmed. And this first one is gonna be how I turned a vintage cabinet into this cane cabinet that's behind me right now. Um, I've been loving the cane uh, furniture that I've been seeing everywhere and so I thought I'd try my hand at something like that and that's what this project is. So just keep watching and we'll get into it. So here is a quick view of what the cabinet looked like before. I got this cabinet off of Facebook Marketplace. It is your standard vintage cabinet. I'm not really sure what the original use for it would have been, but I really like the fact that it had all these details on the side and it, it had quite a bit of interest and character to it. Um, I like the corners were rounded and it just really seemed like the, cab the kind of cabinet that I wanted to work on to try and transform. So the first thing I did was sand the cabinet. I used 80 grit sandpaper, as you can see, and a hand sander to get the top layers of the finishing that was on the cabinet off of it so that I can get it ready for painting. And here's the cabinet after the sanding. I didn't need to get it all the way down to the bare wood because of the kind of paint that I was going to be using, but I definitely um, took off the top layers, like I said, of the finishing that was on the cabinet, and I also took the doors off. And now for the doors. I knew that the shape that I wanted to cut out of the doors was an oval shape. And so in order to help me visualize it and to prepare the doors for cutting, I drew that shape out on a separate piece of paper twice and then I stuck it onto the doors to really give me a view of what that was going to look like. And then I drew that onto the doors and then that's the line that I used to cut. <laughs> and I have said I a couple times but as you can see it was actually my husband who helped me with this part of the project. And so essentially what he's doing here is that he's making holes on either end of the guide that we drew on, so that oval shape. And then it's that hole that we used to put the saw into so that we can go around and cut that shape out. And obviously we don't have a proper table for this, so we kind of just jimmy rigged this little station in order to get it done um, using some plastic chairs. Probably wouldn't recommend it. And when all of that was done, it was now time to paint. The paint that I use is fish, uh, fission, Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Sacred Sage. And it's a very, very pretty sage color. And um, this paint is essentially, from my research, is made for the, these types of projects. And so it gives you really good coverage. And that's why, like I said before, I didn't need to go all the way down to the bare bones of the wood because this paint, paint gives you the kind of coverage that you would want and need for this type of project. So after painting the entire cabinet, I also painted these cabinet legs that I bought at the hardware store. Next up, I installed said legs. <laughs> And here's what the cabinet looked like at this point. The only thing left to do was to add the caning to the doors. So after rolling the caning material in the opposite direction in order to get it to flatten, I cut it to size and then started to staple it to the back of the pre-cut doors. was it my friends all I had to do at this point was just trim the excess caning attach the doors back onto the cabinet and voila I'm definitely super pleased with how it turned out it gives me major anthropology vibes and yes I know they're cancelled um, I use this as my wine cabinet and I love it I get compliments on it all the time um, it's definitely one of my, I would say, top three favorite DIYs. Like, I really, really love it. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this just as much as I enjoyed doing it and putting this together. Um, 
In the meantime though, you can like this video, you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that for more similar content. Um, for the first time in a really long time, I actually have pre-planned videos and projects lined up, which means that I'm going to have um, more content coming on this channel. So you can also turn on your notifications, that way you will be notified as soon as I post the next video. And yeah, thank you guys so much and stay safe.